Okay, time to make a bridge for this arch top guitar. Um, I'm going to make this bridge out of ebony, which is pretty standard for me. Um, I've got this chunk of ebony here that's big enough to actually make a couple bridges from. So I'm going to cut this down. Ultimately, I want the base to be three quarters of an inch wide and probably about five and three quarters long. So I'll, I'll start shaping the ebony once I cut it. Okay, so this narrower part will be the base of the bridge, sitting this way and this will turn into the saddle. So I trimmed the base to the length that I want, five and three quarters, and put some white paint along here so that I can see a pencil mark that I'm going to make. It's pretty hard to see pencil on ebony, but if you put white paint on it, it shows up very nicely. So this is a 25 inch scale which means the bridge is going to sit right about there. And now what I'm going to do is just move the bridge back a little bit from where it will sit and use a pencil and trace the, the arc of the soundboard onto the bridge. So you can see that quite easily. So now I'll bandsaw this out roughly to that shape and then I can proceed to actually fit the brace. I want a nice tight fit of the, the bridge base to the top of the guitar. That's how I feel that I get the best transmission of sound and uh, that's usually the goal with an arch top guitar. So that got me close to where I want the bridge to be, but there are definitely some gaps along the way, especially in the middle. Don't know how well it shows up. Um, so the next thing I want to do in order to make the, the base really fit the way it's supposed to is I'm going to take a piece of 60 grit sandpaper make sure there's nothing under it to mar the finish and I'm going to tape this down to the top of the guitar and then move the bridge base carefully back and forth across it just in small strokes. The, the curvature of the top is constantly changing so I can't sand like way out to the ends because there's a different arc back here and up here than right in the center where the bridge is going to sit. So I, I can't really move it very far, but this is how I get the base to, to sit firmly against the soundboard. So I'll mark the bridge location on the paper. center line at the top. So I can see the high spots by where the ebony dust shows up on the paper. As soon as I get dust all the way across, I'll know I'm, I'm pretty good, that I've got a good contact all the way. Okay, I've got dust 
all the way across and I can see sanding scratches all along the bridge base. So now I'll take off the 60 grit paper, do the same thing with 100 and 150 just to remove the sanding scratches because they are deep enough with 60 grit that eventually they would mar the finish on the guitar. Okay, now I'll just clean this up a little bit with some 220 grit paper. This doesn't really change the profile at all, it just smooths out the 150 grit scratches. Nice tight fit. So next I want to make the saddle half of the bridge. I'm going to use more of that chunk of ebony, cut it down to three and a half inches long and three-eighths of an inch wide and then I'll, I'll start fitting it and getting the, the holes drilled for the, the height adjusters. So here's the trimmed saddle piece. Um, the thumb wheels and posts have to get um, connected to the, the base and the saddle. And the way I'm going to do that is drill holes, obviously. So I've got this little maple fixture that I've used for years with two two holes drilled three inches apart and I will drill into both of these blocks of ebony and that'll make the holes for the the, um, the threaded rods for the thumb wheels. I'll use double-sided tape to attach this drilling fixture to the pieces of the bridge. And the sequence doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do the base first. Line up the center line of the base with the center line of the fixture. And the width of the fixture is the same 5 8 inches that I use for the bridge base. That's normally the size of base I use. I used to make much larger bridge bases, but I, I just feel like these more uh, traditionally sized ones um, just give the, the guitar more of a punchy, focused kind of sound. So that's usually what I like to do. Now we'll drill a 964th inch hole into the base and make the drill stop just short of the bottom of the ebony. Now I'll keep the block in the vise Take off the fixture, change the bit, and drill a slightly larger hole. 